Not sure what to do when an employee makes a mistake? Well, I'm going to tell you how, coming up next. Welcome everyone to another edition of Leadership Roll Call, where we give you the tips on how to become a better leader. I'm your host, Michael Finley. So our topic today is what to do when an employee makes a mistake. We all make mistakes and we're going to make mistakes in the future. The great basketball coach John Wooden said, if you're not making mistakes, you're not really doing anything. So what do we do when an employee makes a mistake? Well, that's our topic for today. So basically, you've got two options. First option is you can lose your temper. You can get emotional. You can embarrass the employee in front of others. But let me ask you, how well do you think that's going to go over? There's an article I read, and I'll put it in the notes below, about how you don't want to be Darth Vader. So in the Star Wars, you remember Darth Vader, and when someone displeased him, Darth Vader would put them in a force choke. So we don't want to be like Darth Vader. How do you think an employee will react if we embarrass them in front of others? Do you think that they're going to come to us with admitted that another mistake? I once worked for a company and there was a boss that was kind of famous for chewing people out in front of others. And then he didn't understand why people didn't come to him with an issue. Really? The second option, one we like to call the right way, is to step back, take a deep breath, and look at the situation. First, if your employee came to you and admitted the mistake, you want to acknowledge the fact that they are showing accountability and you want to thank them for coming to you with the mistake. Next, you want to focus on the problem, not the person. You want to give the employee a chance to explain what happened. Have them explain and listen to them about what went on. Then you want to discuss what happened and make sure that they understand what your expectations are. Then you want to make sure that the mistake doesn't happen again. Now, this is a great learning opportunity. So if they don't understand that they made a mistake, this is a great opportunity for you to coach them, ask them questions, lead them up to the fact where they understand that they made a mistake. Now, if they do understand that they made a mistake, this is an excellent learning opportunity also. So you want to find out what they would do to solve the problem. Now, there are circumstances where you, you know, depending on the critical nature of the mistake where you might have to step in and solve it yourself. But if you can, you want to get them to come up with a solution of the problem. Get them thinking in that manner. This is a great learning opportunity and don't waste it if you can. Next, you want to look at the systems, the processes, the procedures, the training, all the things surrounding the mistake and to see if they contributed to the mistake. Usually the mistake is more than what a person did. There's, there's some other contributing factors. So make sure that there's not other contributing factors. And if there are, you want to make plans to fix those. Now, let's say the mistake drew the attention of the others. And you were asked, what happened? One thing you could do is you could blame the employee. But as a leader, what you need to do is take accountability for your team and simply say, our team made a mistake our team fixed it, our team is going to make sure the mistake doesn't happen again. There is no reason whatsoever for you to throw the employee under the bus and embarrass them in front of others. Talk to the employee in private, but don't embarrass the employee in front of others. Never, ever, 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 ever discipline the employee in public. Remember, praise in public, discipline in private. The bottom line is, no one screws up on purpose. People are going to make mistakes and they're going to feel horrible about making mistakes. How you react to these mistakes goes a long way in whether your employees will come to you again and, and let you know something happened or whether they admit uh, the mistakes and have their own accountability. And how you react will go a long way in whether they look at you as a boss or as a leader. So I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of what to do when an employee makes a mistake. If you have a comment about this topic or any topic you would like to see in the future, please put it below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. So take care, and until next time, good luck with how to deal with an employee that makes a mistake.